Today we're talking about wooden camera's modular cage for the Sony FX3 and FX30. We'll look at each accessory, cover assembly, and I'll discuss pros and cons. The accessories covered in this video are the L-style cage with Arca Swiss plate and HDMI cable clamp, the right grip, and the top plate. There are two quarter 20 locating points to attach the top plate, two quarter 20 locating points to attach the L-style cage, and two M3.5 bolts to attach the HDMI cable clamp. There are two ways to mount the Arca Swiss plate. The less common way is to mount it parallel to the camera body. This way one must first remove the 9mm Arca riser from the Arca Swiss wedge by removing the four M4.7 bolts with the 3mm hex tool. Then one can attach the wedge directly to the L-style cage using the same four M4.7s. However, the most common way to mount the Arca Swiss plate is perpendicular to the camera body by leaving the wedge and riser together and attaching it with the two supplied quarter 20s. Finally, to attach the right grip, there is one quarter 20 locating point that uses a 3A16 inch hex tool to tighten the bolt down and two M3.5 bolts that use a three millimeter hex tool to tighten them down. Please note that the two M3.5 bolts take a considerable amount of time to tighten down and loosen based on their orientation. On the front of the cage, there are two quarter 20s with locating pins. On the top of the cage, there are two quarter 20s with locating pins and two 3A16s with locating pins. On the bottom of the cage, there are three quarter 20s and four M4.7 threads for mounting the Arca Swiss wedge. On the left side of the cage, there are two M3.5 threads to mount the HDMI cable clamp, one 3A16 with locating pins, two quarter 20s with locating pins, but the upper locating pin is blocked when the HDMI cable clamp is attached. On the right side of the cage, there are three quarter 20s with locating pins and a single 3A16 with locating pins. On the front of the Arca riser, there is a legacy lens adapter support post holder with M4.7 thread that can be adjusted with a three millimeter hex tool. On the rear of the Arca riser, there are two quarter 20s and two M4.7 threads. So pros, truly modular design. One can just use the L-style half cage with their Arca tripod or add one's own quick release system, add the right grip or add the LW 15 millimeter base plate and truly integrate into the wooden camera ecosystem. Secondly, the level of fine adjustments that can be made on the cage are impressive. The HDMI cable clamp can be adjusted in a few different ways. One can make fine vertical adjustments to the entire cable clamp by using the three millimeter hex tool. In addition, it has a toolless tie down on the top and another tie down on the bottom that can be adjusted with a 2.5 millimeter hex tool. Further, when the Arca Swiss wedge is mounted parallel to the camera body, it can be adjusted forward and backward to accommodate different tripod and or lens combinations. Finally, when adding the right grip, I noticed that it has a small indentation to allow the battery door to open, but it also allows a spot for one's pinky to go, which helps keep a more secure grip on the camera. Cons. The build is good, but the design is flawed. When I refer to build, I mean the materials used and machining is solid. But when it comes to design, I'm referring to the possibility of damaging the body of the camera during installation. That is if one attaches the L-style cage to the right grip and then tries to attach the full cage to the camera, it will scratch the paint off from the camera's body near the left locating point. Therefore, one must first attach the L-style cage to the camera and then attach the right grip to the camera. Then attach the two together to prevent this type of damage. Unfortunately, this is not stated on the company's website, and as of April 2024, WC's YouTube channel hasn't made a video on this setup. Con 2 is related to Con 1. There is no neoprene padding where the cage meets the camera body. Simple padding on the cage near the locating points could have prevented the scratching of paint off my camera. Similarly, padding on the rest of the cage could have helped reduce damage to the body by reducing friction and vibration between the two surfaces. 
Following this, the top plate is not NATO compatible, which limits one to Wooden Camera's Universal Ultra Handles, another Universal 3A16 top handle, or skipping the top plate altogether. Note that the Ultra Handle Upright for Sony Venice is not compatible. One must order the Ultra Handle Upright Universal 3A16 version if you're ordering the handle in segments. Lastly, I wish Wooden Camera would sell the l -Stog cage without the Arca Swiss plate because it would reduce the price down to 74 USD and would be more digestible for consumers using their own quick release system. If you got value from this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.